Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Training PH YouTube channel. Our topic for this tutorial is the different ways to control the scope box here in Revit. So there are four ways to do this and um, what you see here is this step-by-step -step process on each method. And this is built or created or programmed to do a, a specific or different task in, uh, in performing the scope box. So I'll demo them to you each. And I'll explain to you each functions uh, alongside with the demo. So let's go now in Revit for the actual demo. So we're now here in Revit and I use the residential sample project. So you can also use other projects that you are working or practicing. First, let's make sure na nasa 3D view tayo. And then let's perform the first method. Balik muna tayo sa presentation. Properties palette, extend panel, and then the section box, check box. So, to enable the section box, I mean the first method, let's go to properties palette, and then the extend panel, we have here the section box, check box. Click on that, and it will enable the section box. Pagka-click mo ng check, hindi siya kaagad mag-perform. For example, if I click the check, hindi siya kaagad mag-perform kasi yung cursor ko nasa loob pa ng properties palette. Pero pag nilabas ko yung cursor ko, it will perform the section box. So if I click the section box, meron siyang anim na grip. Okay, so this grip is, uh, I mean, all sides of the scope box meron siyang uh, grip that will be used to move the grip to the location where we want to create a section just like that so any other views you can do that as you can see and by the way yung scope box kapag ka tinamaan niya yung topography it will show a a earth pattern as you can see here in our model so if i disable that enable it again Kapag yung scope box hindi siya tatama sa topography, it will it won't display anything. And sometimes it is um it looks like unrealistic yung topography natin para siyang somewhat object lang na uh, it doesn't really reflect the the topograph. I mean, uh, it reflects the topography but it doesn't show the cut section or yung di, yung lupa. So sometimes we use this to present that Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the first function. To, in, to disable that, punta lang tayo balik sa properties and then the extend panel section box, check box, click on that, it will disable. And actually, to disable all these four, uh, I mean these three method, ito lang yung section box, punta lang natin, i-uncheck lang natin, it will disable those three method. So now tapos na tayo sa first method. Let's go back. Let's go to second method, which is the modify tab, view panel, section box, command. So command naman ito. Hindi naman ito section box. We go to modify panel daw, and then the view. I mean the view. Ta uh, modify tab, view panel, and then the scope box. As of the moment, hindi siya naka-enable, no? So kasi itong second method, we need to select an item or element. So uh, we need to select an item or element before it will be this uh, before the scope box for this method uh, will enabled. So if you go back to the Revit and if I click certain element, for example, yung roof. Pag click natin kagad ng roof, the active tab is actually the modify automatically. So if it, if I deselect it. So, nasa labas lang ako ng, uh, I mean, yung selection ko. I mean, wala akong selection as of this moment. The default is modify. Even if I go to architectural tab, if I click the roof, as you can see, the active tab now is the modify and then it adds the contextual tab as the Revit or the Autodesk calls it contextual tab. Meaning, kapag ka kung ano yung sinelect mo, it will automatically go to modify and then it will add a contextual tab, adding a tools of, or functionalities for, a specific, for that specific contextual tab. So, let's say wall, nag-add siya ng functionalities for the wall. 
Okay, if I deselect it, I go to modify. As you can see, wala yon sila. If I click this roof, it will add a contextual tab na I can perform a footprint. So, I can edit the footprint of the roof. If I deselect it, I go to modify. As you can see, wala na yung functionalities na yon. Kasi hindi ko sinelect yung roof. So, again, uh, let's click the roof. And then, as you can see dito sa modify view panel, naka-enable na yung scope box command. So, if you click on that, it will automatically create, isolate our object that we selected. Okay, so, instead of using this, the first method, which is which click on this and then manually moving it to the roof, we can use the selection of the roof, the second method, and then modify view panel, and then click the section command, and it will isolate. So any elements, so for example, this roof, then click on that, yan. This wall, click on that, yan. Okay, so it is very useful also. Um, time saving din siya. And usually this is uh, used for uh, for navigation in terms of modeling, especially for maps modeling. And if you want to um, isolate space, uh, especially the congested areas, this tool is the best to use. Okay, um, we have, we're now finishing the second method. Let's go to the third method, which is we go to 3D view, right click the view cube, and then orient, select the orient to view, and then select the view where we want to. I mean, select the view, uh, select the view selection. So let's perform that. Let's disable this, um, the section box tool from the second method that we used. So the third method, we go to the 3D view, which is nasa 3D view na tayo ngayon. And then if we go to view cube, anywhere in the view cube, as long as you can see the blue. As you can see, pag nilagay ko yung cursor ko sa view cube, may blue siya. If you can see that blue, don't click on that. Hover mo lang yung mouse mo. If you can see that blue, right click. So don't click ha, right click lang. And then go to orient to view. And then here you can select. This floor plans, elevation, section views, 3D views. So as you can see, floor plans, meron siyang options. San to sila galing? Galing to sila dito. If you go to floor plans, as you can see, these are the views, ceiling plans, these are the views, 3D views, elevation views, section views, sec section building section views, and then the section uh, for the de detail views. So I go again in the 3D view, view cube, right click, orient to view. If I want to floor plans, as you can see, I can select the here, the for example, I want first floor. So any any settings that I have here in the view range of my first floor, it will perform here. So as you can see, nahati na yung first floor natin. And if I want it to be in the basement, I click on that. So as you can see, it, uh, it cuts for the basement, pero hindi yung whole basement on what we see right here. So let's just click it and then adjust it if that's the case. So at least counting adjustment na lang. Diba? So we can perform also other views like for example the 3D view, the building section. So let's say I want the cross section. So the settings we have here in the cross section. It will have the settings also for this 3D view. So let's say you want to create a drawing. You you uh, you display the section view and then you want to display the 3D view of that section. So this is the best tool to use. Okay, so that's it for the third the third uh, third method. We're now in the fourth method of creating the scope box, which is the view tab, create panel, and then the scope box. To perform that, disable muna natin yung uh, section box for uh, for our third method. To perform that, we need to go to this section, uh, I mean to the other views other than 3D view. Okay, so I want to discuss you the delimitations of these three methods. Yung delimitations nila is 
it can you can also you can only perform them in 3d view okay so if if we go to properties extends mayroon section box checkbox if click on that it will be enabled so i will disable them if i go to floor plans any views that is not 3d view let's say first floor if i go to properties extent you can see the section box checkbox no scope box na lang na mayroon siyang uh, drop down selection no so ito yung kaibahan niya ng this method to other three method okay so ito available to siya for views that is not 3d view only okay so yung yung delimitation niya is kabaliktaran ng delimitation ng tatlong to okay so let's perform this na so we go to specific views pwede to sa elevation pwede to sa section and sa detail views so i want to perform this to to um, floor plan views so to perform this punta daw tayo sa view and then create panel dito yung section box and then after perform performing this we want to create a region so for example i want to create a um scope box for this view click on that and then let's go here in the ah uh, sorry uh, i'll perform it again may hindi ako na discuss so again view create panel scope box and then here we have the name of the scope box so i want it for example kitchen kitchen area scope box you can name it or standard you can follow your company standard if ever you have company standard that needs to follow so yan and then yung height nya yung height ng scope box kasi hindi lang ito region it will create a scope box just like in the 3d view so we can define here the height as of the moment pwede naman ito natin i-edit to kahit nalagay na natin so let's just edit it later so gawa tayo ng region skip twice click on that and then yung pag-perform nito is we go to let's say nasa first floor view tayo we go to properties we go to extent and then in the scope box we need to change that name to yung ginawa natin scope box no? so it will automatically cut the floor plan for us so at least content lang yung editing itong mga lumagpas sa, sa scope box is yung annotations na lang so we can hide that or we can move that to our liking just like what i did and we can hide this then ito din then we can move this oops sorry yan okay so that's how you perform it the same method in if you want to perform it in other views except 3d views and um balik muna ko dito sa presentation uh, mali pala yung sinabi ko kanina na yung uh, for example yung delimitation ng tatlong to this three method is hindi sila pwedeng gamitin other sa other views except 3d view pero ito itong port method pwede pala to siya sa gamitin sa 3d view then okay so it will be useful in 3d view also unlike this three so this this view can you can be uh, this method can be used in views i mean in all types of views but this three right here is for um just intended for 3d view so let's me let me go to revit and then let's go to 3d view as you can see, ito yung section box na ginawa natin kanina, which is yung name kitchen area section box, I mean scope box. Para lang siyang, as you can see, para lang siyang scope box, oh. But, hindi niya kinat yung 
model. Pero kapag ka, we go to the properties and then the scope box, tong name sa taas ng checkbox, we select the kitchen scope, uh, kitchen area scope box, it will cut the view. Okay. So, ang kaibahan niya is if we want to adjust this, we can't adjust it here. We need to go to the first floor where we created it. Or enable, uh, let's say, I want to uh, I want to disable this right here. We click none. And then move the the uh, crop region of the view and then ito yung scope box if i want to move this palayo move muna natin yung scope box then para makita natin let's say isama natin yung bat right there and then if i go to 3d view it also move and then if I change right here, if I click this section box, I change its elevation. I mean, let's go to 3 view. And then, let's disable muna. Ito yung, pag, ito yung pag control niya. If you want to control it properly, disable muna lang muna and then move. And then, enable mo ulit. Yan. Okay, so that's the method of the view tab the port method. Okay. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope I hope may natutunan kayo and if you have questions, you can comment it down below in the comment section and kung nagustuhan niyo yung video na to, please uh, like, subscribe and uh, press the notification bell and um, see you to the next uh, tutorial. Thank you.